Speaking of Mario All Stars, I see you picked it up already. Uh, 3D All Stars. I did. I've been I've been playing the hell out of that. How is um, it? I think it's gonna adequately get me through Seattle Winners. I forgot how fucking pretty Mario Sunshine was. God damn! Like just existing in those those like fantastic tropical levels are wonderful. It is just chill. It's bright. It's peppy. Um, Mario Sunshine was never one of my favorites. Like I always thought it was even worse than Mario 64, which I kind of still agree with today. Um, but the just the aesthetics of that game um, and, and the feel of the levels and the music, like everything is just chipper as fuck. And I love it. It's it's something something I needed recently was a, a game that was just unapologetically positive. Uh, and Mario Sunshine, yeah, hits that mark. So I never played it. And whenever I saw that trailer, I saw the world. I'm like, man, that actually looks kind of Odyssey-ish. I'm like, that looks really good. Yeah. Like I, I, I do got to say, though, I don't know how I feel about Galaxy in this package. And it's honestly the thing I was looking forward to the most because I don't want to have to drag my Wii out of the closet and then find a sensor bar and then batteries for the Wiimote. Like, there's... There's a significantly barrier or a significant barrier to my laziness there. Um, so I fired up Odyssey or uh, Galaxy, and instead of using the Wii pointer to grab like star bits and aim, they just use the gyroscope. It oh. works hmm. kind of like it, it works better than I thought it would, but it's still plenty annoying. Because you'll be playing, you'll hit a jump, and I'm one of those guys where I'm constantly moving my controller. Right. Like when I was a kid, I would literally stand in front of the TV and jump when Mario jumped because I thought it would make him go higher. Um, and yeah. uh, so I'm, I'm moving my controller around like I'm running. I'm getting into it like shots in Rocket League. I'm doing this all the time. And in this game, it doesn't really work. So you have to like glide it around and get the star bits. And I don't know, it just doesn't work as well as the. Wiimote, which sounds really weird to say. Did you ever um, think you would want Waggle back? Yeah, I I never did, but you know I do now. Um, it's it's not terrible. They they did a great job with what they had, but yeah, with Nintendo games, they're generally purpose built for the controllers that they come with. Um, so playing Odyssey or playing Galaxy without a Wii remote feels a little off. Oh, well, that's sad because that's probably while I've never played Sunshine, I was looking forward to getting back into Galaxy because that game was amazing. Yeah, it's not it's not bad. Like, like, don't don't let that put you off of the entire package because Galaxy is still fucking great. Um, it's just not not as good as I remember, which is kind of sad. That so happens. so what are what are your guys' favorite like top Mario game of all time? What's your, what's your favorite one? Dude, I'm going to give the top I'm... three. All right. Number three, Mario 64. Number two, Mario World. And number one is Mario 3. All the way. No contest. Mario 3 is the best. I feel I, I don't want to be a cop out, but I feel you can't compare the 2D Marios to the 3D Marios. I think that's uh, totally you can. acceptable. Like, I, I, mean, I love just... Odyssey. Odyssey was fucking stellar. Odyssey was amazing. Um, I would put Odyssey above 64. Um, I would probably say my favorites would be 364 Odyssey. Uh, no, actually, okay. probably th I, 3 Galaxy Odyssey. I okay. just say 3 because it's my favorite of the 2Ds. Right, 3 is just fantastic. I, I loved 3. And the metagame to it was fun. Yeah. Like I like the battling and stuff that you could do with each other and then the whole card shuffle bullshit. I uh I always liked um all the the really stupid things you could do to just cheese levels or skip them entirely. Like uh all the boat levels in the the final world where you have to go through like this hellish gauntlet of jumping up on boats and not falling into the the red lava below but it turns out it's not lava it's just red water and what i would do is you jump down and you sink low enough to not die but just to go under the ships because mario doesn't have a 
breath meter and you literally just swim under the entire level. You would. It takes a little bit, <laughs> you but would. it's a good way to skip an auto scroller. Jeez. Yeah, the auto scrolling levels were the worst of the 2Ds. Agreed. Uh, which, what about which... you, Adam? You've never really been too vocal as being a Mario guy. I'm not. No. Um, honestly, at this point, I haven't even played most of them ever. If, um, but I played the first three and World. So my favorite is probably probably a tie between three and World, honestly. <laughs> Hold on. I, I just now caught on to something that came out in that exchange. Have you never played Mario 64? Nope. Okay. I never had a 64, so the 64 games I did play were at friends' houses briefly or at my family's houses or something. Yeah, and growing up as a kid, if you were playing multiplayer 64, it wasn't passing the controller on Mario. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. 